Is it time to get serious? The choice to get serious about your twin flame journey comes right now. That choice is never made later. It is only made right here and now in the present. So I just want to share what I do and all the ways that myself and many of us go about healing separation. I've been a live Twin Flame Ascension School and Life Purpose class student of Jeff and Shalia for over a year. And every week, myself and others attend a class to go deeper into healing our separation on a conscious level. Aside from that, I am constantly, every moment of the day, monitoring how I feel. If I don't feel at peace within my heart, I identify the reason and do the mirror exercise to heal that bad feeling immediately. Do not tolerate feeling bad. I also don't ignore it or stuff it down. There's a big difference between healing something and ignoring something until it goes away temporarily. Everything that happens in life and in your twin flame journey has a purpose to it and it has a feeling to it. And if it feels bad, then there is something to look at and there is something to heal there. Aside from all that, constantly monitoring my feelings I watch all of the other recorded classes. The other two classes cover different topics each week. And each student involved in Twin Flame Ascension School is having and sharing their own unique experience, which really helps to shed light on something that I may have overlooked about myself and in my union. I'm also in a number of discussion groups with other live students and subscribers where we teach and learn and heal separation in order to help each other get into union. And on top of that, I do one-on-one -on -one work with live students weekly to go deeper into identifying and healing blocks that are causing separation. Many live students and subscribers do all of these same things. We do everything that can be done to heal separation. Now, I'm not telling you this to brag, but I'm bringing, you up, bringing this up because it gives you an understanding of what this journey takes to make rapid progress. Like, there isn't any more that I or many of us could be doing. This is the absolute top of the spectrum. If you aren't doing some or all of these things, then it's hard to quanti quantify for you to conceive how much healing work is required to end separation at this time. So ask yourself, are you really doing everything you can for yourself or, f or your union? Are you really as close as you think you are? Or do you need to step it up? And are you really completing the lessons that come up quickly and efficiently? Or are the same patterns and cycles repeating themselves in your life? Now, you don't have to do this as intensely as I do or we we are all doing 
your union will just come a lot slower if you're just doing the bare minimum. A lot slower. So if you're choosing to do very little or moderately going about this journey, don't be upset with anyone but yourself if it's taking longer than you'd like. If you're not using the proper tools or surrounding yourself with the right people, don't be upset with anyone but yourself if you're not making progress. It's up to you. Do more, get more. Do little, get little. But there's no reason to keep feeling bad. Your story doesn't matter. There's no reason to allow it to make you feel bad any longer. Tolerating feeling bad is insane. Holding on to the story keeps you stuck in the story and prevents you from moving forward because you refuse to let go of this gigantic boulder. This is a process. There is no magic wand. You must work through all of the lessons, all of them. It's not up to you to say you've done enough. This journey is run by God. God says when you've completed this and can move on to the next lesson or the next thing. But if you don't know what you're looking for or don't know how to move through the lessons or are unaware how to make sense of certain things, then it's going to be very hard for you. You'll get frustrated and you'll want to give up. You'll quit. You'll feel like you're on a crazy emotional roller coaster. But your twin flame never goes away. The desire for them never goes away. So you may as well figure this whole thing out now so you don't have to suffer any longer. Click the links down below or visit As One Guidance directly and start feeling good and heal separation permanently. And I'll see you later.